Hi guys, so this video is just going to be on basic gerbil care. So this is going to be a good video if you are thinking of getting gerbils and never had them before. I'm just going to give some tips and the essentials for what you need for gerbils. So first of all, you need something to house a gerbil in. And the best thing to house a gerbil in is a glass aquarium or tank. So here I've got one of these. I would recommend from a 15 upwards gallon tank, so 15 minimum for a pair of gerbils. If you have more than a pair then I would recommend higher. I'd say minimum of 15 for a pair then if you have like three add another 10 gallons and if you have four add another 10 gallons so yeah everything is if you just get in gerbils you have they have to be kept in either groups or pairs you cannot buy just one single gerbil this is because they need companions they can't be kept on their own this will make them depressed so, yeah, always buy in groups or pairs of same-sex gerbils. So as well as a tank, you can also house them in a 10 gallon, as long as it has a topper on it, like this. Otherwise I wouldn't recommend a 10 gallon on its own unless you have it connected to a bigger tank like I have here. So I have a 15 and 10 connected together. So a 10 gallon with a topper, also known as a gerbil aerium, is fine. This gives them plenty of space. They have less floor space to run all together, but they can have space upwards. So that is perfectly fine, although I would not recommend one of the size I showed you for more than two. If you have more than two then you would have to have a bigger tank but you can still have the same size topper onto it if you can adjust it to fit at the bigger tank. So for substrate you do have to have a minimum of six inches of substrate for gerbils. So here you see it's got a huge amount. They've been digging around so it's different levels everywhere. This is because they do build burrows. So basically they build burrows for a place where they sleep and they just yeah build their own like network underneath and they do need to do this. I have a list in this tank as this is just their join on tank with their toys but also here I do still have quite a lot of bedding but they have this digging. So yeah they do need digging space and this is essential. So a minimum of six inches but if you can have more then more is better. And this is essential, you can't just have like a small amount like you would for hamsters as this is not good for gerbils. The beddings I would recommend for gerbils would be either you can use Aspen shavings. I wouldn't recommend any other type of wood shavings personally, though other people do use them. But I find that when I used other wood shavings my, they tend, my gerbils reacted badly to them. So... I personally wouldn't recommend other types of shavings other than Aspen. My personal preference on beddings though is paper based beddings such as what I have which is Megazorb which I will put a link on the screen now to a website and yeah this is a good bedding as they can build really good bows in it and they do hold up very well. Like, so this is just my other boy stack. Yeah. I also mix it with shredded paper and hay. I would recommend mixing it with at least hay as this helps it hold up. Same with aspen. Other paper based beddings are good. As long as your gerbils are not allergic. You can use things like Carefresh. But again, you have to make sure your gerbils 
are okay with this, but you do it every bed is because they can be allergic to some beddings. So as long as your gerbil's fine with it, then. The other thing obviously you need, as well as bedding, is some sort of nesting material. So nesting material I use is shredded paper, which is mixed in with that thing, it's abstract, and hay. And I also use what you can buy from shops is wool paper, safe bed, bedding. Do not use the fluff type bedding, that's like fluff, cotton wool sort of stuff, as this is very bad for our gerbils or any other rodents. Because if they ingest it, it can get caught around their intestines or other internal organs. It can also get wrapped around their feet and cause breaks and stuff. So this is not good. I don't even know why they sell it in shops, but it is not good for any rodents, so do not get that. But just if you want to be cheap, then just shredded paper or hay. They like to make their own beds, so this is an excellent choice of bedding. Or you can bathe their safe or paper bedding. So the other thing I need for gerbils is food. A good commercial mix is fine to feed them. I would recommend this one here, which is Jerry Gerbil. There are some other good mix on the market, but you do have to check them because not all they can not all foods made for gerbils are actually good for gerbils. I'd also recommend one that is made for just specifically for gerbils, but not necessarily one made for hamsters and gerbils. Some of them are good, but there are some that aren't. You have to check the ingredients and the amount of protein and fat in them. These are the amounts that it should about have. Well, you should have between about 3 and 6% fibre, between 14 and 18% protein maximum. Preferably lower in protein. So, yeah. So, you just check you have a good mix. Another good thing to put your gerbils with, which is an essential really, is some sort of bathing sand as I do need this to clean because you can't clean your gerbils in water unless you really really need to like they've been running rolling so it's sticking I can't wash it off themselves but washing them in water can be dangerous for them and can kill them from shock so unless you really really need to then don't wash them in water if you do need to wash them in water then please please check on the internet for tips on how to do this but yeah, provide them with some chinchilla bathing sand. It has to be sand, not dust, as dust can cause respiratory problems as it is too thin. So yeah, and you should provide this with them at least three times a week. Well, I do. My mum once a week, but yeah, three times is better. And you will notice the difference in their fur if you do provide them with sand. So you can also provide your gerbils with treats. Do you make sure the treats you buy are safe for gerbils? And um, th try not to buy ones that are really, really unhealthy. And if you do, if they're high in fat or whatever, do not give them very often at all. I would recommend giving treats maybe three, four times a week. And these are so good ones, so you can give them mealworms. These are good f to put up their protein, because they do need some protein and do eat insects in the wild, so one of them. Little wheat based treats like these hearts, yeah. You can give them some seeds, but these are high in fat, especially sunflower seeds, so don't give these very often. You can give them a small amount of dog biscuits and stuff, but again, not very often as these are high in, tend to be high in fat and protein, so you can give them, but not very often. Peanuts, again, but not very often. And some little dried fruit. Yeah, not very really often. I think the more treats you can give more often are the meal ones and the wheat based. But still, I wouldn't recommend any more than three or four times a week. You can also feed your gerbil fresh vegetables and fruit a couple of times a week. Very small amounts. Um, like apple, broccoli, carrot and stuff like that. And yeah, they do appreciate that and it is good for them as long as you don't give them too much. If you give them too much it will cause diarrhea. Another thing you need to provide your gerbil with is wooden toys. These are essential as a gerbil's teeth, like other rodents, constantly grows. And they need wood to 
wear their teeth down or they're going to end up with teeth that are too long and they won't be able to eat and it will cause them a lot of pain and they will end up dying if their teeth get too long. So wooden toys or bits of wood are essential. So some wooden toys I would recommend. Wooden logs, they are good, they're not chewing them. So, we need to see more wooden logs so you can see how much they chew on it. So, if you get one up, you can get some things like this. That is good. And also, one of the favourites I would recommend is things like little stick things. There's also some little sticks here. They are all good and just any sort of wooden toys really here as long as they're safe wood if they're made for pets then no one will just use it for so yeah you can also provide them with toilet bowl tubes these are going to help wear down their teeth and are free so yeah i think these are really good for them and they can like roll them down in like just a few minutes so yeah and they like them so you just put them in when you can also never give gerbils plastic toys this is because because they chew so often they will chew on the plastic and it will, they will just chew it right up but mainly this is really bad for them to chew on one because it creates sharp points where they chew it and two because if they ingest the plastic bits this can cause really serious illness or death in gerbils so do not provide them with any sort of plastic toys like you would have hamsters Perhaps it's safe, with gerbils it's not. So another thing a gerbil would need is a water bottle, like this one here. This is better than a water bottle as it keeps the water clean and they can get to it easily and they don't tend to leak so they don't keep the bed and dry and stuff. And also, a good food bowl. I would recommend highly a ceramic food bowl, like this one. Not plastic, as from the reasons I gave previously. You can also get metal ones, which are okay for against chewing, but I find they're too light and the gerbils can knock these over easily. So with ceramic, it's heavy enough not for them to knock it over, and also they can't chew it up. So another thing, of course, you need to do is clean your tank. Depending on the size of tank you have and the amount of substrate you have in the tank, depends on how often you need to clean it. Most people only need to clean their gerbil tank like once a month. This is if you have a nice sized tank, like a 15 minimum. And with a decent amount of substrate in, like I have here. You shouldn't need to clean them out any more than this. Sometimes you usually don't even need to clean them out for longer than that. Sometimes like a month and a half, two months. Depends on the amount of substrate and the size of tank you have. Basically when, you, when the tank starts smelling even a little bit, of urine or whatever else then clean them out. If you have a small tank like a 10 gallon then you may need to clean them out sooner like every fortnight or every three weeks but yeah just go with your own discretion and you can smell what your tank smells like and I would recommend you for cleaning them out using some sort of cage disinfectant such as this or any other good make this is good for getting rid of bacteria and smells and then obviously you spray that on, wipe it with a cloth like this and yeah that should be fine. So the next thing I would recommend is some sort of wheel for your gerbil as exercise is essential. Some gerbils don't run in wheels like one of mine doesn't or at least you started to a little bit but you still do that much this is okay don't worry about that just make sure they get exercise in other ways so wheels I would recommend is mesh wheels like this as long as the mesh isn't too far apart these are good because I can get a grip on them the mesh is close together enough so they don't get their tail caught and they're not going to fling themselves out of it and also if your gerbil has a habit of going to the toilet in their wheels, like lots of gerbils do, this solves that problem. Other wheels that are good are flat plastic bottom wheels, like silent spinners. And lots of people use these for the gerbils, these are good because they're, they're plastic but they're 
thick plastic so they can't chew through them. So yeah, they're good. And I also recommend a minimum of six and a half inches wheel for a gerbil, but bigger is better. So like eight and a half inches, something like that. As long as your gerbil can keep their back flat when they're running, this, this is essential to keep their backs in good condition, you don't want them to damage their backs. So if they're starting to bend their backs when they're running, then they're getting the bigger wheel. So you can provide your gerbil with a hideaway of some sort. This can be good if they want to go in and hide away somewhere. They won't necessarily sleep in it like mine don't mind sleep in their burrows. But when they're out and you just want to sneak in somewhere, maybe go in there to eat, which they do, then this is good. But again, make sure it's wood or here I've got a coconut one. And if your gerbil doesn't necessarily need it, if they've got burrows, they can, if they've got burrows and they still do have somewhere to hide away, but it's just an idea. So another thing you need for your gerbil is out of tank time. They really need this. You can get them a run, or if you can gerbil proof a room, and then you can just let them run around the room as long as you can catch them, and they're not going to run away, and it's safe for them. But a run, or you can let them run on your bed or on a sofa. But this is essential again for exercise and because they need stimulation and they like exploring. So they need somewhere new to go. And, so, and it's also good for bonding with your gerbil. So I would recommend out of cage time at least three times a week. More would be best. So if you go every day, do it every day. But for a minimum time of 15 minutes and maximum of about an hour. It's good. So from 15 minutes to an hour, get them out and run or whatever, and it will be good. Also, handling your gerbil is also essential. Try to handle them every day. This gets them used to you and make sure they stay used to you. Um, there is a proper way of handling gerbils, which I have made a video of this previously, so I will put a link at the bottom. So yeah, basically you never pick them up by the tails and always scoop them up in your hands trying to just scoop up the whole body's never by the tips but yeah, I guess as I said, I'll put the link at the upper so yeah I think that's all for now I hope this has helped you if you are thinking of getting gerbils and wasn't sure what to do and looking for advice if you have any questions then please do ask in the comments at the bottom and I will try and answer also, I'm running out of ideas for videos to make, so if anybody has any suggestions, then please give me them so I can make more videos, and yeah, I'd like to make more, so if you have any requests, then please give them to me. So I'll say goodbye now. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you like this video. Bye!